welcome to the Energy Academy. I'm Neil Weaver and today we're going to be looking at a frequency response service close to all of our hearts here at Modo. It's post volts, it's super fast, it's Dynamic Containment. Since its launch in October 2020, Dynamic Containment, or DC, has been the most reliable revenue stream for battery energy storage systems, or BESS, in Great Britain. The reason that DC and BESS are so suited to each other is simple. The service relies on sub-second response times that only BESS can currently deliver at the scale needed. When DC was initially launched, it was strictly a low-frequency response service, designed to enable National Grid Electricity System Operator, or ESO, to respond rapidly to drops in frequency on the grid, specifically those caused by large generation losses. Basically, when this happens, assets which have been awarded contracts to provide DC will discharge quickly in order to return frequency to nearer to 50 Hz. In order to obtain this capacity, the ESO holds daily auctions for DC participation and currently purchases the service on an ether block basis at a price per megawatt hour. Each ether block in each day will potentially have different volume requirements depending on the ESO's forecasts of frequency but participants are unaware of these volume requirements ahead of time. In November 2021, the ESO launched a high-frequency DC service to run alongside the low-frequency service, and it basically does the opposite. At times of large demand losses, which might cause frequency to rise, BESS is called upon to import or absorb power rapidly in order to return frequency to nearer to 50 Hz. For example, the high frequency service was used to respond when an interconnector exporting power tripped unexpectedly. BESS assets were able to absorb that excess power extremely quickly to prevent frequency rising too much. Both low and high frequency DC are post fault services, which mean they react to deviations when they occur, as opposed to pre fault services which work as preventative measures taken to cut down the risk of those deviations before they even happen. We'll explore some pre-fault services in future videos, but until then, there's plenty of reading material about dynamic containment on the Modo platform, should you wish to head down that particular rabbit hole with us. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.